Hey there folks, Peter here from BlackRock Business and today in QuickBooks Point of Sale we're going to talk about customizing your jewelry tag. Isn't that exciting? Before we jump into that, I want you to click on the link below and go over to our Facebook group for QuickBooks Point of Sale. That's right, an insider's group for QuickBooks Point of Sale on Facebook where you can ask questions or put in errors or different things that you want answers about and people like me or other members who use point of sale will answer your questions. That is great, isn't it? All right, let's get to it here. I am going to go on the file menu. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to the tools menu and print designer, and we're gonna drop on down to inventory tags, and then we are going to find the jewelry tag. Here is the jewelry tag, but you don't wanna modify the original template in case you screw up the way that you modify it. So what we want to do is go on the options menu and hit copy selected. That will create a brand new jewelry tag. If you're wondering what a jewelry tag is, let me get here. This is a jewelry tag. It is a little barbell price sticker that you can wrap around something and one side will have the price and the other side will have the barcode and it will be super duper awesome and easy to price tag tiny little things in your store instead of just not having prices on them. So here we have the barbell layout and I don't know if you're actually going to use size and attribute on like a piece of jewelry. Maybe if you got several of the same kind of thing, but most people are probably going to get rid of that. Now the nice thing here on the barbell is that you can have the name of your item kind of go across the center which is great you're probably not gonna make the the actual price very much bigger uh, that'd be kind of weird uh, we can see on this copy here we don't even have a barcode there is a barcode version of the jewelry tag I just happen not to select that but we can add the barcode ourselves. super easy if you go on the add menu here now there's a couple different things. Text label is just a static label. If you want it to say the same word every single time on every single tag that comes out, then you can add a text label. You could say Peter's store or something like that. Uh, but data field labels are ones that are dynamic. They're like the things that you put into your item, such as item description or maybe vendor. That might be cool with jewelry. Uh, if we put vendor code on here, let me see, uh, we could put it up here. So we have vendor code and that'll maybe in your jewelry store, that's where this jewelry came from. A uh, little code that signifies the vendor. And then uh, of course, like I was saying, we want a barcode. So these three at the top are barcodes and you can have a barcode for the item number which is the default in QuickBooks point of sale most tags that have barcodes actually have the item number code you can have the UPC barcode if you're putting UPCs into your point of sale items and then we have the alternate lookup which most oftentimes is like a part number or maybe the number that you order it by when you order it from your vendor I'm going to stick to the usual and we're going to do an, a barcode for the item number and that'll go here. I'm going to move it down just a little bit here. Eh, eh, eh. All right. And then I'm going to stretch it out a little bit so it's like the same width. I'm going to double click on this. We're going to want to make sure that this is the 20F5IL format. It's a more compact format. It's easier for your barcode scanner to read that format. So you don't want it on this top one, 30F9. That is actually harder to read. I haven't changed anything here, so I'm going to hit cancel. There you have it. We have kind of a customized little uh, uh, barbell jewelry tag here. You can change the fonts if you want to double click on something and change the font to something weird. Uh, don't make it too weird. It'll be hard for your customers to read it. Uh, we have the vendor code up there. Uh, or you could do your 
like I said, a label for your store name. Let's say uh, uh, Peter's Jewels, something like that. We're gonna have to keep this fairly small because like I said, this tag is really tiny. I'm just gonna choose this weird font. We're gonna keep it on eight, hit okay. I'm not even sure if that's gonna fit. That is too big. Peter's Jew, that's gonna cut it off and it's gonna look really strange. It's not gonna look like the right words there. Let's find a smaller font. Uh, here's something, this is stylish, but it's still small. All right, that might work. So I'm gonna bring it in here. All right, Peter's Jewels. Probably gonna center it up. Double click, center, okay. There we have it. We might have a winner here. All right, I'm gonna close. It's gonna ask me if I wanna make that the default inventory tag. I don't see a whole lot of people that make jewelry tags their default, but if that's like your main thing that you sell, I guess you probably could. Um, I am not gonna because I use this point of sale for other things, but I want to save the changes. So, Peter, jewelry tag, yeah, okay. Close, now I don't even have any jewelry on here, so I'm gonna choose a pocket knife and some koi food and whatever, and hit print tags. And now, very importantly, First, of course, I'm going to choose the Peter's Jewelry tag. And then I am going to turn on the two black bar, actually just the first one, the black bar indexing for jewelry tags. Um, apparently, the second check mark there is mostly for jewelry tags that have flaps, which don't look like a barbell. But we're gonna try this out. I'm gonna do three copies of each, and I'm gonna hit print and multiple units of measure i'm gonna continue come on you can do it oh all right there we go all right there we are we've got our new jewelry tags according to our new template design printed out for you right there my name's peter with black rock business thanks for coming along on this tag printing and templating adventure you have yourself a great day bye bye